Hello and welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you're new here and you're just stumbling across this video. So lovely to have you. Welcome to the vlogs and the videos I upload every single Sunday. So yeah, I hope that you'll stick around, join us, hit the subscribe button. My hair is very curly today. It's not usually this curly, but I washed it last night and then put it in my heatless curler. And this is how curly it's gone. I haven't brushed it out yet, um, but I'm just at work today. So I just thought I'd leave it in for now. There's no reason for me to really brush it out right, right now. So I dropped Chester, who is my boyfriend, for those who don't know, at the train station this morning. He's headed down to London today for work. And then he's kind of away on like a boys weekend for the weekend. He's going to... Um, the NFL game and they're just making a bit of a weekend out of it. Yeah, having a bit of like a boys weekend and a good time away. I'm gonna just prop you up for there for now because I've got myself a Diet Coke. So I'm gonna get myself some lunch and bits in the minute but I just feel like I have so much to do that I'm trying to crack on with my to-do list. I have the whole weekend to myself this weekend which is really lovely and I would normally spend quite a bit of that time with my mum but my mum and dad are going across to Scarborough for the weekend on a little trip. So yeah, it's literally just me, myself and I and I'm actually really excited about it so mum's coming back on sunday and i'm probably gonna go and spend the day with her i think we're gonna go on a well well overdue b m trip and have a look around some of those types of shops forward planning me i think that might be in the next video you see so i just thought over the next couple of days today tonight and tomorrow that we could just have a bit of an at homey vlog. I am actually thinking about heading out this evening to like a shopping center, White Rose Center, which is in Leeds for those of you that are local. I hadn't been for ages. And then a few weeks ago, I went with one of my friends just after work on a Friday night. And it was really nice actually. It's a bit like the principal of the Trafford Center, but it's just like nowhere near as big and nowhere near as good. It's like the only kind of thing we have in Leeds that's like it. It's kind of apart from Leeds City Center that's all under one roof. Half decent shops, I mean half of it's closed down now, but that's just the high street in general. So I've been debating whether I was gonna go tonight or tomorrow, but what I'm thinking is after work tonight, like I'm ready to go. I may as well just go out and enjoy my evening. I'm gonna go on a solo shopping trip date and then I'm gonna go on a solo dinner date, I think. I think I'm gonna take myself for a Wagamama's, which is like one of my favorites. Have a little mooch around the shops. And then I've also got some parcels that have arrived or that are due to arrive today as well. I really don't mind spending time on my own and I don't mind just staying at home and chilling, but I just thought I might do some more of that tomorrow. I don't know what I'm gonna do tomorrow yet, but I think I'll probably do some organizing of the house, some cleaning and tidying, and general just getting life in order. That's the plan over the next couple of days, so I thought I'd take you along with me. A couple of parcels have already arrived, so I just got a top up of my Estrid razors. Top up of the razor heads every few months, I think it is. Probably pause the subscription and use up the ones I've got and then restart the subscription. And the other thing was exciting because I've been waiting for this because a couple of weeks ago, I attended a webinar, a virtual webinar with Cordelai, who are an amazing skincare brand. We learnt in this webinar all about their new Reserva Troll Lift product and product range, but specifically their serum. I love quite a few products from Cordelai. Perfectol serum that's in like a white bottle. I love their grape water. I use grape water every single day, which is basically like a hydrating spray and I just spritz it on an evening, sometimes on a morning as well, but usually on an evening between skincare steps. That's the usual thing, just like a boost of hydration. I buy all mine from Look Fantastic, by the way, which I know I mentioned probably in every single video. Probably order from Look Fantastic at least once a week with some sort of top up, with trying something new, with being influenced to buy something. I use my discount code personally all the time and it saves a lot of money. I think this probably retails for about £50, this serum. It does vary the discount code and the amount you get. Like sometimes they have promotions on, you get a bigger discount. Leave it in the description and I'll also leave my discount code on the screen so that you can go and use it on whatever you want really. They have thousands and thousands of brands on there. They have Christmas range, beauty products. They just have so much stuff. So I'm always, always buying on there. And they have things like Maybelline. They have great hair care brands. They have literally so many things. This is the serum bottle. It's a very bougie packaging. I don't know if it's quite glass, but it kind of feels like glass. So it's an anti-aging product. Their Reserva Troll range is basically a alternative to retinol. I've never really so far in my life got on with retinol. I've tried it a few times. It makes my skin really sensitive. I break out. I think it's a really harsh product and it just doesn't agree with my 
pretty sensitive skin. It can also cause a lot of flakiness as well, can retinol. You might already use retinol and this product can be used if you do already use retinol. Perfect alternative as well if you don't want to use retinol. So they said that this is three times more powerful than the average retinol. Which I'm just looking on Look Fantastic now to see what it says, but I'm so excited to start using this. It has collagen booster and natural hyaluronic acid in it, which is super important. And also no webinar, they said it's safe to use if you're pregnant, which apparently, I didn't know this, but retinol you can't use when you're pregnant. So let's see what I think and if I notice a difference. My skin has really cleared up now. It seems to be doing super good at the minute. So I am not too scared about introducing a new product into it. Yeah, I'm gonna crack on with some work this afternoon, try and bash out some of these last minute tasks and deadlines and things, wrap it up for a Friday evening, and then we can head out later on a little solo shopping trip. Yeah, I'll catch up with you after work for a fun little shopping and solo shopping day and dinner. Literally, what a day. I have had such a productive afternoon, which makes me very, very, very happy. And also kind of drained, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I'm actually really proud of myself about how much I've managed to squeeze in because I thought I might have to jeopardize going out this evening and actually stay and just do some extra bits this evening. It's quite difficult to explain, but I guess it's like one of those things when you put your mind to it, you can like achieve a lot in a really short space of time. And I think you can apply that to like most things in life. I remember when I was at uni, one of my friends said to me when I used to like, not panic, but be worried or anxious about exams. And I was like, how on earth am I gonna learn everything and revise everything in like the next week for an exam? And she'd always say to me like, three days is such a long period of time. You have three full days focused on something literally imagine how much you can achieve and the same applies for anything you say right for the next hour i'm gonna tidy the house you can achieve so much in that hour that's my little motivational speech because i'm feeling like i have achieved a lot today and i'm in the right mind frame to give out a little speech about it so yeah it's um already getting a bit dark i mean it's only five like half past five now i've just finished work i feel like i definitely need a little top up of makeup and powder probably and some lipstick you know how i was telling you that i order from look fantastic all the time well Here's another look fantastic order. This has actually just got a couple of essential bits in it. Huge bottle of Bioderma Micellar Water. I use this all the time. I have been through two 600 milliliter bottles of it. I always used to just use cleanser on my face. I used to double cleanse and remove with a flannel. And I was finding, as you've probably been aware, if you've watched my channel for a while, that I had been kind of continuously breaking out and just couldn't get my skin fully under control. And I thought, what if it's like my flannels that like potentially are harboring bacteria, and um, even though obviously I wash them, but still after a period of time, maybe they're just not the best. I started incorporating micellar water and some of the other micellar waters cause like a weird, like stingy reaction around my eyes. This one has been so good, no sensitivity, it's just perfect. It doesn't sting my eyes, it doesn't make my face feel dry or it's got like a stench to it or anything like that, it's just fab. I've realised it's really dark in here because I'm literally sat with no lights on, um, like a little hermit on my laptop. And with this one that I absolutely loved is it's got a little pump top. So with the other one you just pour it out of the bottle but this one looks really fun so you can put your cotton pad and you just pump it down on the top. Use this pretty much every, well definitely use it every evening and sometimes I've been using it in the morning now. And I've also got this, I'll show you at some point, it's like a little buff puff. It's from Amazon and it's a bit weird because it's like a rough buff puff thing and you like, you rub it on your face and it helps with exfoliation and usually my skin reacts badly to stuff like that but I don't know if you can hear my computer peeping off in the background but so far, so good. And then I also got this La Roche Pose, I don't know if it's coming up on the camera, um, Effaclar, I think that's how you say it, Effaclar um, moisturiser. This is quite strong, I think it's got quite a potent formula in it, but it's supposed to be really good for keeping like breakouts, blackheads and those kind of things at bay and also helps with oily skin which I probably do have like an oily t-zone like my chin and these little bits here and also my forehead like they definitely do get oily and I set with powder so I used this before but not for a while because I properly stripped back my routine and I'm re-adding things in so yeah this is the Effaclar K plus one which apparently is the good one for blackheads as well not that I have that many but I thought that that's something that I particularly want to look at targeting a little bit more and it's really good for 
anti-sebum which is basically oil that the skin produces it's like the equivalent of my super drug or boots shop it's look fantastic because they sell loads of drugstore and like essential bits anyway and i save money on top of it so it literally works out perfect i was looking earlier and the reservatrol serum on look fantastic it is 52 pounds but with my code it was taking it to 41 i think taking makeup off gonna use my new serums probably cozy up and watch something on tv i'm excited it is gonna be a good evening so i'm ready to go for a little solo shopping dates and dinner trip just brushed out my curls a little bit my blazer and my new bag which if you've not seen my previous video which is what i did on my birthday and got for my birthday and also treated myself to this gorgeous bag then you might want to go and watch that but i literally love it and it's already had a significant amount of wear literally just pop some lip liner on it's this rimmel thrill seeker glassy gloss it's kind of like a lip oil but it's not sticky at all super glossy and super nice so gonna head out it's literally 20 to 6 i'm gonna head across it's gonna take me like half an hour or so to get there that's on a good traffic day as well so hopefully it won't take too long and then we can have a little moochie around the shop let's go do some shopping and hopefully i will see some nice things I always had to put the seat up so much after Chess has been in it. It's not even that big a height difference between us. He's like probably like six one, and I'm probably about five ten. But he seems to drive with the car seat super low. I think I might film a bit of a come shop with me Instagram reel as well. I've been trying to be more active over on my Instagram too, filming more like what I eat in the days. And I'm gonna get back into the fashion content. I just haven't yet. It is always a bit di more difficult on like gloomy days because by the time I finished work, so many content is basically dark. So the fashion content isn't that good. But I've been definitely filming more of like the everyday life bit. Did like a heatless curler video recently, um, taking out my heatless curls because of course, I'm obsessed. Uh, True Neutral Collection, which is the heatless colour I use, which is my brand. We've sold out of the oyster colour. We still have the light grey. We still have like a good amount of stock in that. So if you want one, I'll leave them in the description. They make amazing gifts at Christmas. My hair has grown so much since I started using it. So it's probably like the worst clip to show you because I'm not even showing you my hair. But yeah, my hair has grown so much and the condition of my hair is so much better than it's ever been. And I don't have to have like as regular trims. Do you have a pretty on it? hair care routine and I do take a lot of like pride in my hair but like you can see kind of like the thickness and how much like thickness volume growth length I've got from switching to much less heat I still use heat still use my um Dyson air wrap every week but on everyday basis my hair looks put together and styled and I'm just using heat scales they are 100% the way forward you might want one for Christmas either to your Christmas wish list or maybe you know someone else that wants one that hasn't like taken the plunge yet me and my sister in particular use them every single day religiously her hair's grown massively she couldn't grow it past like her shoulders for ages and now it's like really long style that you get like these curls zero heat is incredible yeah anyway this is this is what i'm like with these chatty kind of more cozy roundabout vlogs is that once you get me started i can't stop i can't stop talking i'm just the biggest chatterbox in the whole world as my mom would say literally i go out with my mom on sunday and we'll meet in the morning and we will talk for like eight hours straight without breathing i could see her every day of the week and i'd still have stuff to talk to her about yeah gonna connect my phone somehow to this technology let's head off before i end up spending way too much time chattering and the shops will be closed even though i've got ages still but it's late night shopping which is good should be able to have a really good mooch around see what i see maybe make some purchases yeah let's go i have arrived that took about half an hour as expected i think i'm gonna do a bit of shopping first and see how i feel i think the shops are open till 10 tonight so I do not think i'm gonna be here for that long but who knows when i start looking around places i'm gonna start in the big m s and then make my way along um there is hm as well which I might have a little look around a few different places so i think what i'll do is i'll take the camera show you some bits and then maybe do a little voiceover as well so i can show you around some of the bits new in bits home all the good stuff really so yeah let's go do some shopping 
So let's go on a little shopping trip. I started at the big M&S. It's so good. They have so much stuff. It's a great shop. So first of all, saw all these beautiful artificial flowers. I've actually ordered some of these because I want some for like the autumn winter season in the kitchen. I loved these hydrangeas and they were so silky and soft, really good, but very expensive. They're about 16 pounds a stem. I've looked at this vase a number of times and love it. The ribbed detailing is gorgeous and these cozy, comfy throws. They just have so many nice things in M&S, home and fashion. They also have tons of candles, reed diffusers, the electronic diffusers as well. And then I came across the Christmas section. So they had gifts for men. They had these cozy hot water bottles. I was honestly in dreamland. So many Christmas decorations, candles, fragrances, just so many gorgeous things. I've seen this candle like two or three times already and it is 110% on my list of things to get. I didn't buy it today but I will buy it at some point. It's so cute, love the theme of it. Love this kind of wintry wonderland theme and the wax melts, gorgeous. This gift set was really cool. I thought it'd be great for like a secret Santa or your grandma or your mum or something, just as a little stocking filler. And then they have this gorgeous, really big ribbed candle. Obviously once you've removed the red ribbon, it would just be really neutral. So it depends what you like. And this is a white company dupe, love that. Then they also had these gorgeous kind of wooden effects. I've seen very very similar things across loads of different stores these type of like display serving tray type thing or just you could put it on the side just as decoration they had these really cute little nutcrackers some of them had calendar like advent countdowns on them and then there was this neutral one as well and this one that was inside a snow globe which i just thought was so cute this was i think just short of 40 pounds but the quality was so premium and i think it'd be such a lovely thing to like have in children's bedroom or something like that they had lots of novelty things as well like this christmas pudding plate then on to more of the fashion bits so i saw these gorgeous like cheesecloth type very white pajamas thought they were so lovely they are a tad summery but very nice those ones were 35 pounds and then i went downstairs into the more fashion section and saw this coat which is stunning so beautiful love the cut of it love the color and then i looked at the price tag and it was 425 pounds so i was like hmm, perhaps not um i do have these trainers already they're a really great staple i think my sister might have them as well actually but they're great little kind of designer dupe really comfortable the cozy chunky knits are all in they had about 50 different types of knitted jumper I picked out obviously all the neutrally ones. Pretty much everyone that I picked out looks the same, but that's just kind of my style and what I was gravitated towards. So yeah, they all range from about like £25 to about £35. So really good value and great quality. Saw these puffer coats, they were £99, so a bit more expensive, but super high quality and premium. And then these are the jumpers, one of which is the camel one that I'm wearing today. I also have the very soft baby pink one. I think they're about £17. £50 and the super super soft and great quality saw this as well which I loved the color of this this was 35 pounds but I might have my own on that one then I headed into H&M I generally find that H&M online is better but I sometimes go for a little mooch around the shops these teddy fleeces are really in at the minute and that one was only 18.99 which I thought was good loved this blazer I think that was about 55 pounds but really premium quality and I think I might have ordered and sent back this cardigan already. If not, it's very similar, but I do love it. They had loads of lovely hair accessories and bows. I'm such a bow girl in the autumn winter. And yeah, these really cute dash down socks, love them. They also have these really chunky scarves. So I feel like the accessories are not to be sat on in H&M. They have some really nice things. Then I headed into changing room. So this is a bit of like a try on in the changing room clips. So first of all, this jumper, which I really loved. Loved the detailing on it felt really long and premium but I actually think this was a size large and I could kind of fold it in half it felt really big on me even though it's probably meant to be more of an oversized fit I didn't know as well if the neckline would kind of annoy me and then I tried on this one which I actually really loved and the perfect kind of underneath a blazer kind of basic I love the split sleeve on each of them here we go with my blazer over the top so this is a blazer I was wearing today and I love this color combination together I love how the sleeves kind of poke out the end of the blazer because I'm quite tall I have long arms and long limbs but this particular one which was in a size large had that little thread pulled so I don't know if you know you can do this but you can go onto the H&M app and then you just scan the label and it will bring up the product 
perfect and then you can just add it to your basket see if your size is available it also helps make a decision about whether you need to get it there and then or if you can think about it you can see the other color ranges you can see the reviews and yeah i just find that a super cool like in-store feature i also tried it on in the black which i loved this is definitely getting a purchase i didn't purchase it there and then i was going to i took it with me um but then i decided because i'd probably order the other color online anyway i may as well just order both together this was a size large it has got a bit of room in it i don't know whether to go and order the size medium as well and maybe just try them both on but love the navy and black combo and yeah this is kind of like the perfect jumper for me love the split sleeves now this coat at first I was like I'm not sure how I feel about it and now I'm watching this back I actually kind of love it and when I put my bag on with it I was like oh my god this is amazing this coat so I'm just kind of thinking that I might need this now now it was only available in stores when I scanned it on the app again it said that it's currently just store availability and it will be coming online I didn't really like it done up and I felt like it might have been a bit too boxy and oversized especially when I want to kind of show off my waist a little bit more um but I love the vibe of it I love my bag over it it looks really chic it was a really premium and heavy quality as well. I think it was about £50. This was my outfit of the day today. I already own this. My blazer is actually from H&M. So I thought I would show you a long clip of this. My boots, I think a new look. Amazon leggings and the M&S top and my new bag. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd show you that little outfit. And then I headed to Next Home. I really, really love Next Home. They have such beautiful home decor pieces and loads and loads of seasonal pieces as well so saw these really cute light up christmas trees in little and large and that cute little decoration and then they have these really sweet mistletoe side plates and also the mistletoe coasters which come in a really nice pack so again they are seasonal and it, one thing i would say is some things for seasonal decorations are a little bit more expensive than the average person might want to spend but yeah, the quality is fantastic. Loved the mug, loved the mistletoe oven gloves as well. They kind of transitioned out of their other autumnal decor and really gone in with the Halloween pumpkins. So that was a fluffy pumpkin toilet seat cover, if that's something that would be of interest to you. But then they have like gorgeous lamps, very much a white company tube there. I feel like if I needed a lamp, that would be high up on my list. Then I headed into Primark and downstairs to the women's wear. As you can see, it's a little bit of a jumble sale, bits and everywhere, and it was very busy still. So this gorgeous cream, very soft dressing gown and the PJs that I'd kind of gone in for to have a look at. They had them in so many colors. It was just so busy in there. So I did end up buying some stuff, but I'll show you in a haul separately. And then I headed to Zara, saw this gorgeous combo. I mean, it's bold, but it's giving Mrs. Claus classic mrs claus so beautiful loved that red coat loved this kind of coat skin i think it was like 90 pounds though and this blazer is super up my street but something very very similar to what i already have and then nipped quickly into new look didn't look at too many things but these leather leggings are fab and also saw this fluffy kind of fur coat faux fur coat which i thought was cute they had those leather leggings in the khaki the nudie colour and the black and also this really nice cable knit jumper dress. Thought this coat was quite similar to the one in H&M, similar kind of style. So I feel like there'll be lots in different shops and I'll just be picking the one that's best for me. And then I headed out and across to Wagamama, which I adore Wagamamas. I just love it. I did have to wait quite a while for a table, but then I sat down, I got Diet Coke, tap water because I was exhausted and so thirsty at this point. And then I had some chicken yakitori, which is so good and also a steak i think they've changed the name of it but it's a steak teriyaki soba which is so good and my go-to so i just caught up on my instagram and just took in my surroundings i'm back in the car now i know it's a bit dark so i won't chat to you for too long here but I just had a huge wagamamas i really am on a treat yourself kind of evening I didn't actually buy too much i did go to primark it was very very busy um so i didn't get many clips or vlog much but i did get a bag of stuff one of the jumpers i got one jumper and i feel like i might end up having to take it back but i'm not sure i didn't try it on and i feel like it was just a bit of a rushed purchase and then i had like loads of stuff in my hand because i hadn't got a basket and then when i got to the till it was all it was still in my hand and i couldn't really get rid of it because that primark 
is so rubbish especially in comparison to the Leeds one the Leeds one's huge it's got a massive home section which is something that I love in Primark and yeah it's just so much bigger so much more stuff I'll try the jumper on see what I think it's a nice jumper I'll show you it when I get home I'll show you a little haul when I get home but it's a really nice jumper but they only had two sizes left they had like an extra small and one large so I just went for the large and just got it and then as I say it was in my hand so I just ended up buying it food was delicious I had to wait a while for my table but there's something really weirdly liberating about going out for dinner on your own it is a bit nerve-wracking and you do get this kind of like sense of is everybody looking at me because I'm on my own am I a complete loser but then equally like I think if you just own it and you just don't really care like why does it matter like I don't want to spend my evening just sat or all weekend just sat doing nothing with my weekend I work hard during the week and I want to enjoy my weekends so I don't think there's anything wrong with going out and enjoying some dinner even if it's by yourself luckily I have Chester who obviously I adore and love going out with him but I'm also very much happy in my own company and I think that's something that's really important and like to not get deep like Chester and I have been together a really long time and like since I was 16 we spend obviously a lot of time together and we do a lot of things together like almost everything we do together something in me as well that's like having this these little pockets of experience on my own on my own i do things on my own i don't know why i'm making it out like i don't i do i've done loads of things on my own over the years i am quite an independent girl as well if you get what i mean let me know but some of you might think i could never ever go out for dinner on my own um or like go to the cinema i've only ever done that once and i really wanted to see the little mermaid so i just went like why not really delicious it's cheaper when you just go for one person so yeah had a great great time i think i'm gonna continue the indulgence and the treat yourself mindset and stop via a supermarket probably sainsbury's and get a tub of ben and jerry's first i don't know why i'm going through this like really obsessional phase with eating ben and jerry's especially cookie dough ice cream or ice cream in general even though it's like cozy and autumnal it's just looking at those trees back then it's like all orange and cozy and cute i don't really know why but i'm in this little mini obsession with ice cream anyway so yeah other than that wasn't hugely successful trip i saw some bits in h&m as you will hopefully have seen from the try on clips i was going to get the black jumper but what i think i might do is order the large and the medium in both sizes and both colors online and then can try them on in the comfort of my own home but let me tell you going shopping is absolutely exhausting i just do so much online shopping now actually going to the stores and looking around and the like jumble sales and there's people everywhere it's just i don't know how much i love the experience i love retail therapy i love shopping but i'm not sure how much i love that kind of very bustly busy atmosphere it's just not that fun I'm gonna stop get myself some ben and jerry's and then get home i'll show you the bits that i've got from primark and then cozy up on the sofa and watch a film i think i need to decide which one i'm gonna watch i don't know what's going on there Point talking to you while this hideous light's on, so I will see you when I'm at home. If I could hear my father's voice, he would tell me to move on. Say I'll be just fine Yeah He would tell me we have time Time to laugh and time to heal Our favorite song is on repeat So I'm home now after my stop at Sainsbury's There was actually some really nice home bits in Some Christmassy bits And just general home bits to be honest And like toys, Christmas presents, those types of things. And I got some ice cream as well, which is a small fortune to be quite honest. So in the space of this week, Chester has broken my dressing table chair. So first of all, he did that, which, you know, is what it is. And to be fair, I kind of wanted an upgrade a little bit. So I've ordered this one it's from a website I've never ordered from. I think it was called CFS. I've not got like the utmost hope that it's gonna arrive. The day after I ordered it, I got like an email to say, book it in for delivery, but they gave it like a specified day, which I think was really good, like a week in advance. So that fills me with a little bit of confidence. So hopefully that comes. And then the second thing he did was yesterday, 
um, we had some ice cream, shock. Last night I had cooked dinner and we sat on the sofa and because he was going away we were like, we'll spend, you know, the evening cuddled up, we'll watch a film, we'll have like a really nice evening together. And I was laid here in the corner and he was laid next to me. So he was in charge of going up to get the ice cream. He went to get it, obviously none the wiser, came back, everything's fine. Today at lunchtime I went to the freezer and he'd left it open. Like a jar, but he'd left it open and the whole freezer defrosted we didn't have like tons of stuff in it and certainly not loads of stuff that was like oh god all our food's gone type thing it was just like the odd little bits and replaceable stuff a few things have gone wrong this week that was an ad-lib story wasn't it probably not necessary but these are the going ons in our life there's always something some sort of drama or something going on anyway cannot even remember why i started telling that story to be honest now but i've got my primer bag so i'll show you the bits that i got actually before i get into primark i got these couple of cards from sainsbury's i don't know if anyone else does this but i love having a backup of a couple of birthday cards so i just chose a couple to add to the stash i don't think we have many reserves at the minute it just says pop the birthday bubbles it's quite a girly one that and then this one which is kind of girly as well but i think it would be all right for either in fairness and they were good because they were just a pound each so from primark i first of all got this jumper i think i mentioned this earlier this was kind of a little bit of a rushed purchase i just like saw it at the bottom there was loads of jumpers but they were literally like a jumble sale so everything was just like all the sizes are being pulled out everything just kind of pushed over everywhere i couldn't really like pick properly and it was busy and i had loads of stuff in my hand and i was like oh, for goodness sake so anyway i saw this and this was by far the nicest one i saw i might end up keeping it i know i said i was going to send it back but i'll probably end up keeping it it's this kind of like i didn't try it on but it's just kind of a plain it's jumper but it's quite a soft material it feels really premium it definitely feels like a h&m style jumper or anything like that and it was only 13 pounds i got it in a large which i'm hoping will be big enough slash not too big because i just never know a sizing ages and i haven't bought anything from primark in ages so i don't really know what size i am i'm on a bit of a healthy journey and i've been losing inches my body is like changing a bit and um, i haven't actually measured or weighed myself in a few weeks but I still try to be mindful. I mean, today I've had like wagamamas and I'm gonna have ice cream, but they're the only things I've eaten today. Not purposefully, but like I said, I've had a really busy day. So it's just been like, I knew I was going out for tea and I was like, I'll just enjoy my dinner and indulge tonight. So like little things like that, just making choices. Anyway, again, sidetracked as usual. Um, as my body's changing a bit, it's difficult to know size I am. And like, I don't, I've not changed drastic enough, I don't think to reduce loads of dress sizes, but even things like larges, or maybe I was like an extra large or something like that. They just, my waist is slimmer than my tummy and my hips. So I don't like things that are just mega, mega, mega baggy, but then I also don't want them to be super tight on my stomach. Finding things that fit is difficult. I might actually just try this on now and just see what I think to the colour. It's very similar to the colour jumper I'm wearing at the minute, but it's just a bit thicker. It's a little bit oversized, which I still want. It's not too oversized where it's swamping me. And this is a really gorgeous jumper, and no wonder there was only two of them left. I forget what I said earlier, scrap it all. It's really simple neckline really nice sleeves like quite a big ribbed cuff and also a little bit of a dropped hem ribbed hem at the bottom so i actually don't have that many like deep top slash camely colored things this is actually my only camel jumper but this works so well especially whilst the weather is still warm it's from m and i think i showed earlier in the shop with me the kind of area where they all were there's lots of different ones they're super soft but it's very kind of it's a very much more fine and knit thin jumper but that's perfect for like today when i'm going shopping and i'm inside shopping can get really warm i don't know if anyone else finds this but i just always find it so hot in like the changing room the shops are hot there's people around i don't want anything like really chunky and then a blazer on, on top because i'll be sweltering so yeah something like this is put works perfectly for that and like a layering piece but this will be great under blazers as well when the weather gets a little bit cooler and also just for like chilling in and working from home. Might, this might sound really obvious, but I make sure that I get myself ready every single day, even when I'm working from home. I know different things work for different people, but I just find myself so much more like put together and ready for the day if I get ready. I There's not a single day in the past six months or however long I've been working um, properly 
from home. I haven't got up, got ready, put my heatless curler in, taken out, done my makeup, got dressed. I know not everyone wants to do that, but that's just like my routine and it works really well for me. Even if I sit on the sofa and work sometimes or sit at a desk and work, it doesn't matter. It's always my comfy Amazon leggings or an alternative, whichever ones I'm wearing, and some sort of jumper or comfortable clothes don't get me wrong but i always get ready the next i got these which are the slouchy cozy socks they are this like mauvey kind of purple color also this like speckled cream color on the back which is so nice these are mega soft mega thick they feel so nice and they were only four pounds fifty i'm not going to take them out of the pocket yet because i might film a little real for instagram but they look super long you can tell that they're like a long pair of socks which will be so nice to like pull up over my leggings those evenings and with pjs and stuff because my feet in the winter well all year round really but especially in the winter are always freezing my hands and feet get so so cold and then i got two pairs of pajamas these are kind of like gone a little viral i don't know if you've seen them they've been on tiktok a lot so i didn't know what size to get because i've not again had Primark pyjamas in the longest time. One thing I really want from pyjamas is comfy and slouchy. So, and I don't want them to be tight. So I decided to go for extra large. They had loads of these available by the way. So they weren't like, even though they've gone viral, I thought they might be like down to the little dregs, but they weren't. They had loads of different ones, loads of different pyjamas. The only ones they definitely like pretty much sold out of with like a pinky colour, like a baby pink colour, which were really nice. Probably would have got those ones. There are some pyjamas I always wear from Amazon and I'll leave them linked in the description because they are literally the softest, most amazing pyjamas. My pyjama drawer is literally overflowing. C keeps telling me that I need to clean it out and he's so right. Maybe that'll be your job for tomorrow. When he finds out that I've brought him two pairs of pyjamas to add to it, I think he might be like, oh my God, Chloe, you've got a problem. These types of pyjamas just make me so happy. I just love it. I love taking my makeup off, doing my skincare, wearing nice pjs feeling like relatively put together for bed even though i look like a gremlin with my hair and a heat curler and my, all my makeup off but ones from amazon are amazing but i do have a couple of pairs already or one pair i think from primark that i wear all the time and i've had them for a few years and comfortable and the reviews of these ones on like tiktok and instagram and things are so good so i thought i better get them and try them out myself so i got the gray with the white piping and then i also went for the like forest green ones i thought these were nice they have loads of these i don't think they're very popular but i feel like a lot of people aren't on this you know forest green hype and i don't really know why but these are a bit different so they had black with white piping they had navy i think with white piping again i'll let you know how i'm getting on with these but probably these and the amazon ones are very similar style these are definitely a bit thinner as well which i don't mind at all to be honest because once i'm wrapped up in my duvet and my blankets i'm all good can't remember if i said already but they are 15 pounds a set this is such a cozy little haul so i've got another pair of cozy socks and these are such a white company dupe my mum actually bought me some that were so similar to this last christmas i think the ones she bought me were a cashmere and wool blend and i doubt that these are because they were four pounds fifty but the idea of them is very very similar cable knit they're called luxury socks actually very thick and really cute i think you could even wear these with like uggs i feel like it's quite trendy to wear these big socks with uggs now might be wrong might be just getting old they just come in a single pair but they feel really premium very very thick like a gorgeous stony color cable knit gorgeous as i say four pounds fifty and couldn't resist picking up some socks i feel like primark for me is just great for the pajamas the cozy socks few knits and jumps everywhere i don't know which primark these people are going into that have these absolutely gorgeous array of beautiful clothing that can make a whole wardrobe out of because this primark i went to was as i say like a jumble sale and there was pretty much nothing that i could put together as an outfit now please don't shoot me down but i accidentally bought not accidentally fully purposefully bought five packets of these i don't know if you've seen the very very sad news primark are discontinuing these now I haven't had these in ages because like I say I haven't been to Primark but I used to buy these all the time and they are insanely good value and now I've started using my micellar water a lot more, my Bioderma makeup remover, any cotton pads 
So these are 90p, the big oval ones, they just cover so much more surface area and they're just so much better. Devastated they're discontinuing them. The 90p, so it was less than five pounds for them all, which is really good. Those were all the bits that I got. So maybe tomorrow is more of like a declutter day and take things out so I can put new things in. I'm going to order those bits on H&M and have a little browse as well and see if there's anything else online. I did get a H&M order through the post today. A few things in here are actually the tester and um, he just wanted some like basics watch me have ordered something that i've tried on already this is just a black fine like relatively fine knit sweatshirt but if i'm gonna get the other one i might not keep this one i just wanted a black jumper to wear with like leather leggings with normal kind of gym styley leggings and black boots and then just style up with a blaze like an all black outfit underneath really really versatile and i can like dress it up and it's super easy and i also feel really confident in all black outfit i'll try this one on but i'll either keep this one which i kind of know i'll already like because i've had one really similar but i did really like the one i tried on today and i loved the sleeves on it and maybe I might keep that one instead and then this i have a feeling is the exact same thing but in navy so i have a navy jumper that you'll have seen in some of my videos but it's mega mega bobbly i've had it for like a couple of years now i think and it's super bobbly this is a bit thinner than my other one but it might be a good replacement for a navy jumper i feel like i really really do need to go through my wardrobe and sort it out because I always wear the same things or the same types of things. Leggings, basic kind of block coloured jumpers, blouses, satiny blouses, those types of things. I really do feel like the capsule wardrobe is made for my style. Dressing it up and in and out with blazers and coats and things like that, especially for autumn winter. That coat that I saw in Zara, I actually saw a lady walking in it in that red coat out just as I walked out of the shop and she looked phenomenal and yeah i've kind of got my my cogs turning about this red coat now even though i don't feel like a red coat would be the best investment i mean the one in zara was 150 pounds which is pretty expensive but i've seen them in a few places i saw on h&m online that the coat that i tried on today in beige which is currently not available online it's coming soon apparently so i'll link it down below if it is currently available they also do that in red and black i think as well but i'm sure so many other places do those styles of coats and i don't know how much wear i'd get out of it because i do generally have more of like a neutral kind of wardrobe rather than bold bright colors i don't have red coats maybe that's something i need um and then i got these which are like a bit stretchy i think trouser type things but they're almost like a thick legging and they have like a pleating down the front these would be perfect for like an office day but i thought that they might be nice as like leggings that was a bit smarter but i'll have to try them on with a few outfits and see how i can style those up it depends how i can style them up and if i'll actually wear them as well because i just love my leggings and leather leggings so much that i might not actually end up wearing them so i think that's everything i'm going to show you and share for this evening i'm sure i've been chatting and chatting and chatting the world's my oyster tomorrow i'm just going to see and take it and see how i feel when i wake up i'm going to have lion I feel like it's well deserved lion lots of shopping bits and things going on but i hope you've enjoyed so i'm gonna find something to watch now grab my ice cream from the freezer but yeah thanks for keeping me company tonight and i will catch you tomorrow so today i actually haven't really done much i think i intended to have super productive day and get lots of stuff done but yeah that has just not happened i spent the majority of the day just sat on the sofa i've done some washing i've done some editing and like worky bits but i've just started watching married at first sight very 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 popular especially in the uk i think they have different ones don't they i think they have married at first sight australia maybe and the uk one i'm watching the uk one there's already been 16 episodes so i think i'm only up to like episode six so still, that's quite a lot that i've watched today just had more of like a chilled day just put my new pjs on definitely glad i went for the more oversized style i edited the vlog so far and it seems like it's a pretty long one and i haven't really done much today to show you in all honesty it's just been a chilled one i've been working on some truly neutral collection bits just whilst i've had some time which has been really nice actually so i redesigned the candle labels so they're going to be coming new soonish i've also reordered some more heatless curlers as you can see my hair is still super curly from my heatless curlers so i've reordered some of them and i've actually ordered a very very limited edition colour for Christmas which I'm really excited about. We're also bringing out a big candle which I'm so excited about. I love a big candle probably more so than a smaller candle. I'm just kind of finalising a few bits. You're getting lots of products 
sneak peeks here but we're also bringing out wax melts as well so i have been designing some labels for them too so in all these scents i've got by the fireside which is like the most gorgeous like deep sexy smell it just is insane i love it so yeah we'll bring out just the big candles in the by the fireside but the smaller candles in by the fireside and amber musk both of which are beautiful and then the wax melts we're gonna do by the fireside and then also a new fragrance which will be revealed soon and then we can expand as we go but obviously it's a big financial commitment launching products and it comes out of the pot and um, so it really is just like a passion project and a business I just try and work hard to keep going. I've always wanted to have my own business since a really young age, so it's something that I'm like really proud that I actually brought to fruition. It was a lot of groundwork, I'm not gonna lie. It took a long time to get it going and the perfectionist in me, which I didn't even feel like I was a perfectionist, but apparently I am. And these little things, everything has to be right. And I think when someone is spending their like hard-earned money on one of your products, you want it to be like the best it possibly can be and you know I love spending money I love doing hauls I love buying things I love cozy products and stuff as you're probably well aware so it just made total sense to have that kind of have that kind of vibe to my business if you're unfamiliar with truly neutral it's basically I have referenced it I think a few times it's basically like a luxury lifestyle company so I create like the highest quality products I can using silk. Our candles are really strongly scented, so you actually get like a really good cold throw, which is when the candle isn't lit, and a really good hot throw when the candle is lit. So I'd say I try to be like around the affordable luxury price point, like something that is middle ground, where you're getting a really great product, but for a good price. Trust me, it is not without its challenges and its difficulties. I've ordered a lot of products that have been wrong they've come wrong they haven't come as they were specified they've been manufactured incorrectly and it's incredibly frustrating and i have spent a lot of money on things that have quite frankly just not been good enough to sell it's a real shame but also like i said i don't want people to spend the hard-earned money on stuff that is not up to standard and I wouldn't be happy with buying. That is a little background to TNC. And then I also have a couple of bits that I just thought I'd show you from M&S. The first thing I got was just a pair of fresh black leather leggings. I'm not sure if I've ever actually had the black ones from M&S. I've had the brown ones before, but the black ones I've got from New Look in the past. I really love the M&S ones. They're coming up super shiny because of the light. They're actually a bit more matte vibe to be honest and super nice for autumn winter and dressing up outfits a little more rather than just my more everyday leggings. So yeah, they're like a staple in my wardrobe. And then I also got a blouse. But yeah, it's a black blouse. I don't know if it'll come up on camera very well. And it's kind of like a little bit floaty, I think. Not hugely floaty, but a little bit. A little tie at the neck as well. So I thought these two together, like leather leggings with this black blouse, maybe a blazer over it or boots or something. I'm going away with the girls to Scarborough for the weekend in a couple of weeks time. So I just thought it might be nice to have a fresh pair of leggings. I'll get loads of wear out of it. It won't just be that, but just in general having a fresh pair. It's already like nearly eight o'clock. So I'm just going to have a chilled rest of my evening. I think I'm probably going to just grab something very quick and easy for dinner. I'm not really sure what yet, but just something and continue with the of married at first sight i think um and that's probably going to be my plan i might give it a break after a, another episode or so and watch a film instead definitely hasn't been as productive as i was maybe anticipating haven't done any decluttering um but it's been productive in other ways just resting is also productive when you need it we all live really busy lives so sometimes we just need to have a little chill spend a day at home a bit more relaxing bit more chilling out rather than always on the go so yeah that is how I spent my day and it's been lovely it's kind of been perfect and I got this new blanket from Costco the other day and it is the best thing in the whole entire world it is so comfy so so soft so cozy I am very happy and I'm um, gonna have a really lovely chilled rest of my evening yeah thank you so so much for watching I know this has been another long one but I hope you're enjoying the longer videos really really appreciate it if you've made it to the end and I will look forward to seeing you next Sunday for my next video see you soon.